Hey guys, how y'all doing today? This is Nick the Nutter Buster coming at you to talk about something a little different. Uh, instead of talking about saddles, we're going to be talking about one of the options that I use where a saddle is just not the best option. I'm going to be talking about my handy dandy wind walker. Uh, got this from a Saddle Hunter Forum user, VT Bow. Uh, I've been looking for one for several years. Um, he was letting go of one and nice enough to make me a nice trade on one. Um, so you can see I just painted it real quick, sponge camo, give it kind of a little oak hickory bark camo pattern. Blends in pretty well. Um, put two backpack straps on it. Doesn't really have a waist belt because it doesn't need one. It only weighs, I want to say, something like six pounds. Um, you can see when it goes on your shoulders, very, very streamlined. This was what I I'd started looking for one of these before I found out about saddles. If I'd have never found out about saddles, uh, this would probably be my main hunting method. Um, just a five pound stand. It is super, super small. Um, comes with a pretty cool web seat, um, which is actually fairly comfortable and very, very lightweight. Get the strap off of it. That just folds down, gives you a little hammock seat. It's got a little pipe insulation on that bar just to kind of keep you from. Uh, gouging the bottom of your thighs into that metal um, and then something that I added on mine that's not stock um, I put two Bertha buttons all right just make it a little bit easier to put it on the tree um, so this carries on your back real well it doesn't stick out over your shoulders you can go through thick brush and where I find myself using it is areas where you can't get very high up off the ground where you're stuck 12 15 feet just, just getting high enough to maybe see over some brush and get out of that direct line of sight. Um, hog hunting, um, early bow season, hunting clear cuts, hunting marshes where you just can't get very high. And with a saddle, you do make a little bit more movement than you do sitting on a stand. Um, this is perfect. You can slap it on a tree. And when you've got like a runway and a marsh or a clear cut or something, you know deer are going to be right there. You can set up, you know, right there for a strong side shot at them. Um, keep your bow in your lap. You don't make a whole lot of movement when you go to put that on a tree. Uh, usually, what I've been using in conjunction with, set this down. Just a fanny pack. Um, got some Cranford rope steps in them. So usually six or eight of these will get me the size I need to be. That works out nice. This doesn't weigh a whole lot. Um, the Cranford rope steps are a bit of a pain to set compared to sticks. But the nice thing, since I'm usually only using this in circumstances where I can't get very high off the ground, it's okay. It's not that big of, big of a deal to sit six or eight of them, go up your tree, get to hunting height. Uh, kind of show you what it looks like on the tree real quick. You can see that's what it looks like on the tray. Fold the seat down. That's it. You can see it's not giving you just a whole lot of room for your feet. Um, we can sit this way pretty comfortably. But yeah. Um, if you can find those, they also made, uh, lock-on made back in the day, they also made a limit. Um, that's a little bit bigger, a lot of guys find that more comfortable. You're trading a couple of pounds of weight for a little bit roomier platform. Um, like I said, I'm not a super big guy, so I do just fine with the little six-pound wind walker. Uh, hoping, hoping here comes September, hopefully we'll get a little bit of a workout. I got some areas where they got some old cutovers in the swamp. Um, and you're hunting trees that big around so that combined with my uh, Cranford steps I modified those adjusted the whoopee so that you can get them real tight to a tree um, that's a real good combination when you get in them little trees can't get very high and if you're in a saddle you're swinging around and the whole tree's swinging with you uh, 
just not a very sneaky feeling when you're moving six inches side to side in that tree. So, but that's it. If you can get your hands on one, try one out. That's a, uh, it's a good second stand. It's also a good stand if you if I'm taking somebody hunting with me who, you know, doesn't have their own equipment. Uh, that's pretty easy to use. You know, with a lineman's belt and a harness and everything, it's pretty easy to use, pretty safe. They're not going to get super high up off the ground, which is good a lot of times. Um, and it's a light enough setup that they can hang with me while I'm hunting out of my regular saddle setup. It's also just a spare I can set up. I'll usually take it with me, like if I go to my lease or something. Uh, a lot of times I'll have that stand on my back, and then I'll also have my saddle system. And I might go and I might set that up somewhere and just leave it for the weekend. Um, you know, in case if I'm out, you know, and I see some sign, I'll set that up. Now I can come back and I can hunt it. Um, it's just, just an extra spot, and then I can keep my saddle on me if I change my mind. No big deal. I'll come back and get that later. So but that's that's this week's video. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all next week.